Welcome back everyone. Today we go and visit one of my bucket list items. One of the reasons that I want to go overlanding, to go visit the monarch butterflies in Mexico. Let's go. So yeah, like I said to our members in one of our last videos, uh, we've been in Mexico now for a year and a half and uh, kind of in lockdown for the last 50 weeks or so. And so we figured it's time to get rolling again and uh, get on the road. Um, and we've done lots of improvements and mods to the truck uh, while we were in lockdown. A new high pressure oil pump and turbocharger. And so I thought this uh, quick little trip of what, 20 hours of driving would be a good way to uh, make sure everything is in top notch order. And we did run into a few problems on the way up actually. Uh, our uh, rear axle was leaking out of one of the end axle part. Probably should be more than finger tight. That one too. All of them. Uh, so I tightened that all up. Not sure how it came loose. And secondly, our uh, fuel pressure regulator I took off uh, during the installation of the high pressure oil pump. And when that went back together, the, the regulator spring went in there a little bit polywampus and we were getting 45 PSI instead of 60, 65. So uh, this uh, little trip gave us a chance to iron that out as well. So we'll be heading up the mountain here. As you can tell, we're in this beautiful valley overlooking that direction. Uh, we camped here in the campground of the Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary last night. Uh, we asked the guys at the gate and they said that would be fine. Uh, and now we have to hike like two hours round trip, I think, to get up the mountain. We are currently at about 10,000 feet. I'm not sure how high we have to hike, but we'll see how much huffing and puffing you guys hear. Let's go. We have our guide dog here. Guide dog show us the way, presumably. Which way? Which way, boy? Which way, Rover? <laughs> He's like this way, straight up the hill. Oh man. So I came up here yesterday to buy some fruit and maybe 10% of these stalls were open. So big change with the pandemic. All right, so we've just come as far as the food stalls. <laughs> Already quite a significant gain after we haven't done much for the last year in quarantine. But yeah, so we're gonna keep on going to the gate. Uh, you have an option of having a guide or a guide and a horse. Um, I think we're gonna just go with the guide though. Maybe I'll regret that decision in an hour. <laughs> Dog is uh, <laughs> come on, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Entrance. Ooh. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, there it is. There, there, there. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, here we are, getting sprayed down. That's one thing we noticed, everyone's wearing masks. Even when they um, pass money, they're disinfecting the money. Temperature check. <laughs> so. 
Ah, sí, sí. Ah, sí. Ok. Gracias. Gracias. Ok. I actually thought it was 100 for total, so let me get some more money in. Gracias. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Sí, lo que un día. Gracias. Hola, buenos días. Mi nombre es Guadalupe. Yo voy a hacer el recorrido con ustedes hasta el santuario de la mariposa monarca. Pasa uno de ustedes a entrarse aquí. Ajá. Hay tantas antes que yo. I just need to sign. All right, checked in. Nice. This is our guide for the day. His name is Guadalupe. Hey. See? Okay. And and Cantata. All right. Quantos veces cada día ah a caminar esos. De cuatro y cinco veces. Oh, sí. Al día. Ah, arriba. Mucho ejercicio. Sí. Beaten. 149. Ok. I think I might die. Yeah. What's our elevation? 32, I think. Yeah. 30, 160. Yeah. Like 10,500, I think. Yeah. The real value will be shown here. <laughs> yeah, all right. And there's our first, our first butterflies up in that tree, up there. Amazing. I know we're gonna see like a million of them, but you know, first one. <laughs> In a field of butterflies. You can hear the wings flapping. <laughs> wow. All right, here we are. Okay, this is as far as we can go, but you can see just just incredible just thousands and thousands That was it folks and um, unfortunately we couldn't talk down there we had to be quiet so we couldn't say too much but that was really a cool experience for me um, I would, I've been looking forward to that for a long time <laughs> what do you think yeah that one little meadow there was swarming with them this I'm sure you saw uh, we have heard stories from Hans and Doris some Swiss travelers we've befriended for the last year uh, they've said that uh, sometimes they're so thick hanging from the trees that the branches are drooping down so yeah and when we was expecting that we might see some of that yet yeah there's another reserve very near to here i thought it was pretty cool i was just sitting in the meadow and they're just kind of running into me as i'm sitting there i'm trying to stay still and they're hitting me and landing on me and i mean that's a pretty amazing experience <laughs> all right back to the truck back to reality Ah, caballos. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, guys. The 620 steps down is much easier. <laughs> 
back then <laughs> up. Um, but I just want to give a little backstory on how I found out about this place. I first learned about it from some travelers, Tom and Janet. And uh, we met them 10 years ago before we even knew overlanding was a thing. They had traveled Africa twice and then Alaska to Argentina. So we saw their video um, about 10 years past and had the idea of traveling and it was pretty exciting. But when they saw these their, um, Mariposas, there was a, a lot, like way more than what there is now. Um, like they were walking and they were just everywhere. So we can see that there's definitely been a decrease. Um, they said probably about 25% each year, um, which is pretty sad, but um, we're really glad we got to see them now. Only about, I don't know, 400 more steps left to go down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gracias. Algo de tomar? No. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Turn. Still have a mask on. <laughs> so cheesy. So good. <laughs> mm. Yum. We just stopped at that little taco stand for a, a well deserved <laughs> bite of food on our way down. That was the um, family, if you recall, on our way up, there was a little kid waving in the truck. That was our taco place, so. Muy rico. Here we go. Air conditioner vent is at 2.8 degrees. <laughs> Three degrees of air freezing in there. Okay. Pa Perito, how are you doing? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Hola, perrito. Oh. Zone 7 on the lakeside has a beautiful view of the mountains. Blah, blah, blah. I think it's good. I think it's not hot showers, but we can do that ourselves. Well, we're still recording or something. Okay, well, I guess you just heard what our next plans are going to be. Ha ha ha. So we stayed two nights at uh, the National Park, north of Mexico City. It's um, El Oquitel. And um, mostly had to stay two nights because with our uh, letter plate, we can't drive in the state of Mexico on Friday. So we're just heading out now, um, heading to Guatemala. Yeah, we got a couple thousand kilometers of driving. Uh, lots of it is toll roads, which is nice and fast, obviously. But lots of this really small town really slow single lane need to pull to the side to get out of the way for the pepsi truck sort of thing so some hard driving ahead a couple three days probably and yeah. uh, then we will be heading towards lake atitlan in guatemala uh, it's a really huge lake uh, very near to uh, volcanoes which are currently erupting so that'll be something fun to look forward to uh, I'd like to take this time to again thank our supporting channel members whose names are now too numerous for me to recite. They're scrolling by now. 
thank you so much for your ongoing support. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this butterfly sanctuary was on Kara's bucket list since the beginning. Yeah. One of the reasons we decided to go over landing uh, was just to see magical places like that. Um, so, hope you guys found it entertaining, if not educational. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.